Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Chicken Pants Studio, the place where we paint lots of pugs, although today we are going to paint something else. I know. I am, of course, recording this voiceover right now with a pug on my lap who is sleeping, who is named Frida, who will hopefully not be making any sounds. Moving on. Today we'll be painting a French bulldog and my Hobonichi cousin. I've been using this as a daily-ish painting journal. I say ish because although there is a painting for every day, I don't actually paint them daily. I batch paint these pages. Eagle-eyed observers will note that the dates for these pages are a few months in the past. That's because I fell off the Hobonichi painting wagon pretty hard about halfway through the year. I was working on another daily painting project, and this one wasn't getting the love and attention it deserved. So I shelved it. For months. And there it sat, until one random day when I picked it back up. I really liked what was already there, and having all those blank pages really bugged me. So I went back and painted them all. Months worth. Months and months worth. Like, I shelved this project back in July, and I picked it back up again in November, so I had that much to paint. And I did! I did it! I'm happy to say that I filled up every last one of those pages. It took days of concentrated effort, but I did it. And then... And then, once I was truly caught up, I didn't know what to do with it. The big project was over! Kinda! I only have the rest of the year still to paint. So now what? So I let it sit for a full week before I picked it up again. I do have every intention of finishing this year in the Hobonichi, but I have no plans to start a 2024 edition. I think I've learned my lesson. Maybe. We'll see. So this is actually not the only Hobonichi I started for 2023. No, no, no. I started three of them. One to use as a studio logbook, and one for creative journaling and memory keeping, and this one. And I wound up shelving all of them midway through the year. So, yay, success. So, okay, so we're painting a French bulldog today. I don't usually paint Frenchies. I usually paint pugs, which if you're familiar with my work at all, you will know this already. But if not, hi, I paint pugs all the time, excessively, it's crazy. Except today, today we are painting a Frenchie. I was inspired to paint this little Frenchie because I wanted to shake things up and try something new and different. That's really the spirit of this Hobonichi for me, was a place to experiment and try new things that I wouldn't ordinarily try and just like keep it loose and fun and fresh. And I sort of did that. That sort of happened. Albeit in a loose and experimental sort of way. So, this rainbow Frenchie. I'm using gouache to paint this. Um, I have a fun set from Karen Dosh that is um, little cake, dried cake gouaches, and it's really fun to work with. And I really enjoy the process even today. It's fun and it leaves room for surprise in your work, which I always think is a good thing. I am currently procrastinating on painting. What I probably should be doing right now is working on some paintings on canvas that need to be finished up. I have four of them on my desk right now that need everything. Well, not everything. They're almost done. They're at the stage where they're ready for me to put the pugs in and finish it up. And that is kind of the hardest part. <laughs> and I have a bunch at that phase and I need to get in there and deal with it. And I haven't. I'm doing this instead. Yay! So why did I start doing this in the first place? 
Well, there is this wonderful artist named Mogu Takahashi who creates fabulous, colorful, loose, funny, just fantastic gouache illustrations in her Hobonichi every single day. And she has four years. And I thought if I could do just a fraction of that, it would still be pretty cool and fun and all that good stuff. To be clear, I wasn't trying to copy her. I just wanted to make a daily painting journal too, because I thought this is a really cool idea and it'll be a lot of fun if I can keep it up, which I didn't really, but I digress. Of course, I had to put mine in a Hobonichi as well, because I love them. Okay, now I am about to do a super fun and messy part. I am going to hit my brush gently and knock a whole bunch of little paint droplets all over the pages. I love this part. It adds chaos and energy and life and it's fun and it makes a big ol' mess. I usually wind up with paint on my face and on my glasses and of course all over my desk you can see the evidence of that. And now I'm using a heat gun to dry this baby because I have other pages to get to. I don't want to spend all day waiting for this thing to dry. I am a very impatient painter. I really need to learn to slow down and be more patient because it takes time for paint to dry, unfortunately. And now we are going to put little dots in the eyes to bring a little life to it because you know I like to do that and that's it. That's the final touch on this painting. Now comes the awkward part where we look at it. If you've somehow made it this far into the video, congratulations! You deserve a medal or something. I don't have a medal to give you, but thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!